Sau đây xin mời quý vị khán giả cùng gặp gỡ và lắng nghe những chia sẻ của Đại sứ Nadav Eskar, Đại sứ Israel tại Việt Nam. That is all of the remarkable events in foreign affairs over the past week. Coming up next, we would like to invite you to meet Nadav Eskar, Israel Ambassador to Vietnam. Ông Nada Eska, đại sứ Israel tại Việt Nam, sinh năm 1974 tại Jerusalem, Israel. Tốt nghiệp chuyên ngành quan hệ quốc tế và nghiên cứu truyền thông tại trường đại học Hebrew University, Jerusalem. Trước khi đến với Việt Nam, ông đã từng tham gia công tác ngoại giao tại các quốc gia như Đài Loan, Trung Quốc, Hàn Quốc, Mông Cổ, Ba Lan. Firstly, on behalf of Yenzen TV, we would like to say thank you that you saved your time for us today. As we both know that uh, you have background in media and international relations, you have so many experience in media, diplomacy, education, working as a media expert in charge of uh, Northern America, Asia, Europe in your foreign affairs ministry. So could you please share with us how you experience help you as an ambassador to Vietnam? Well, first of all, let me thank you very much for having me today. I'm very excited to be here. I'm privileged to, to participate in your show, so uh, I'm the one thanking you for giving me this uh, wonderful opportunity. You know, you get experience on, on various um, issues on media, on uh, industry, on economy, on uh, sometimes difficult political tricky uh, uh, issues, strategic affairs. So after I gained quite a lot of experience, I'm very happy that I can bring it here to my uh, current position as the ambassador of Vietnam, interesting countries in the world. I know that you want to share to press that you have first trip to Vietnam 50 years ago. So how do you feel about Vietnam at that time? We came as tourists, uh, my wife and me. We were a young couple at the time. On a very low budget, we came here to Vietnam for a few weeks and we toured it from uh, north to south. We tried to, you know, to get to every corner of this uh, country. It's a great place and it was our hope that one day we can come and live here as uh, diplomats. So after many years, I uh, finally managed uh, to convince my headquarters, my foreign ministry to send me here as an ambassador and this is for me really a dream come true. So do you think that it's a fate that you have some special connection to Vietnam? Mm, I didn't think of that, but maybe, <laughs> maybe you are <laughs> right. It is a fact that I am here. I don't think it was uh, solemnly fate because I was working a lot uh, to do that, to, to, to mm -hmm. reach here. So what do you think about the diplomatic relationship between Vietnam and your country? Well, this year we're going to uh, celebrate 25 years of uh, diplomatic relations. So we started in 1993. Uh, I think that uh, relations started on a very slow pace, very carefully, you know, uh, the two countries. Uh, slowly but surely we had been uh, discovering uh, each other. And I think uh, that nowadays, after 25 years, and especially the last five to 10 years, uh, relations are booming. And when I'm saying booming, it's in every field you can, uh, you can imagine. It's like two good friends, you know, sharing uh, experiences, learning from each other uh, about many aspects of life. We cooperate in communications and technology. A lot. In Vietnam, you know, you have abandoned water and the uh, soil for agriculture, for growing food is excellent. Well, in my country, we have very bad soil. Big portion of uh, my country is a desert and we don't have enough water. We don't have rivers in Israel at all. We don't have rain. We have sometimes, but it's a very small uh, quantities. And many of his generation did that and prevailed, make the, the desert into the garden, which is something we are very proud of. So out of uh, necessity, uh, we, we uh, found those solutions. Culture of finding solutions. Uh, have you got any advice for Vietnamese who want to start up with a business with Israel? or vice for mm, Israel to Vietnam? Well, this is one of the things we are trying to do, to bring the two businesses together. We are trying on the governmental level uh, to sign uh, relevant agreements. Uh, for example, we are discussing with Vietnam for the free trade uh, agreement to try to give benefits, to encourage the businesses from both sides to do the business together. A lot of know-how coming from Israel uh, to Vietnam and Vietnam export is not the same export like Israel. So I think that already 
there's a lot of room for cooperation. We have the number one startup uh, companies per capita the in the world. In Vietnam, I think also quite big number of uh, technological startups. And we also bring, uh, you know, courses and uh, experts from Israel to Vietnam, from the industry of startup, to encourage um, Vietnamese maybe to show them how we do that, so they can also uh, learn, and maybe to learn from them, because I think we have a lot to learn also here in Vietnam. I'm very optimistic, and uh, I think that the trade volume is growing every year for many years already. Maybe it's the most significant uh, country in the Middle East that, uh, for Vietnam, and Vietnam is one of the most significant uh, countries we have the economic cooperation in Asia. After listening to what you have said, and just remember that Vietnam published a book about the Israel. If you have some sentence to tell the students sitting here mm -hmm. about one of that book, mm -hmm. which one you went through? Hmm. That's a very interesting mm -hmm. question. I would say that uh, there are a few very important messages in that book, uh, talking about the Israeli startup uh, sector. One of them is that uh, do not be afraid to fail. Do not be afraid to challenge. I think these are the two things that are most important maybe to, to emphasize. Thank you for your sharings. And I think that many students want to ask you a question about your country. Are you ready? Great, okay. of course. Is there any question for me, Tanara? Please raise your hands. You, please. Hello. My name is Lan Phuong. Uh, I study at Hanoi Open University. I have a question for you. Uh, can you tell me an interesting memory about Vietnam? Thank you for the question. Thank you. It happened long before the diplomatic relations uh, were uh, established. It happened in the 40s, actually, at a very difficult times for Vietnam and a very difficult times for Israel. Uh, the leader, the Vietnamese leader back then, Ho Chi Minh, had met with uh, our David Ben Gurion, who is like our Ho Chi Minh. Uh, his name is David Ben Gurion. He was later the first prime minister of the country, and uh, they had met in Paris in a hotel that they stayed together in the same hotel for two weeks, from different reasons, and they became uh, friendly. And every evening they spent together in this hotel uh, back in the 40s and discuss the problems of Vietnam and the problems of Israel uh, before Israel was established, uh, it was. And um, one of the problems for Israel then that we wanted to have our own state and we didn't have our own state and uh, at the place where Israel is, uh, which is our natural land, uh, the British were ruling the country and they were not willing to give us uh, uh, the control over this country. So Ho Chi Minh, generously enough, offered uh, maybe for us, maybe for the Jewish people to come to, uh, to live in Vietnam, uh, which was extremely generous and kind offer. But of course, for David Ben Gurion, it was very important that we have our own country in our own land, which is the land of Israel. This is our place that we yearned for uh, thousands of years. So, uh, uh, so of course, he, uh, he didn't then come to, uh, to Vietnam, but thanks a lot uh, to, uh, to Uncle Ho, to Mr. Ho, uh, for his kind uh, offer. And uh, the one thing I really pity in this is that we have this uh, registration of these meetings, but I couldn't find uh, any picture of this meeting. I don't know if there is one, uh, but I wish uh, one of the things I hope I can do is to try is to find uh, picture of them talking together. I think it could be very excited. I can make a big uh, copy and put it in my embassy. Israel and Vietnam share a rich and prosperous friendship. Yeah. And this is a friendship between our government and between our peoples. Right. Mm. True. Yeah. Thank you. And I hope that in the future, you will have many actions to well enhance our bilateral relations. I know that in this year, Israel will celebrate the 70 years. So do you have any plan to show the Vietnamese your long history and your culture? We are very proud of our young state and of our uh, unique culture. 
we're going to do something also special for the both the 70 year anniversary for our state and the 25th anniversary of the relations but I cannot tell you what it is it's still a secret mm. uh, but we're going to do it here in Hanoi and it's uh, touching upon innovation and agriculture and rice field we want to introduce an exhibition in few cities in uh, in Da Nang in Hanoi in uh, Ho Chi Minh but not only on other cities as well about uh, the great Jewish scientist Albert Einstein we want to introduce him a little bit we are going to participate in the festival in Hue for culture we publish a lot of books is there any question for me Nada? please raise your hands you please how do you feel about the people in Vietnam? I feel great about uh, people in Vietnam. Uh, I feel very welcome here. People are treating me and uh, my family very nicely. Here I feel the most at home. The Israeli people and the Vietnamese people are uh, very much alike. We have in many things, uh, we are sharing good things, also some bad things, but I think we are very much similar to, to each other. We have the same style, even though we are far away in uh, different sides of the continent, still there is something very much uh, in common in our, uh, uh, I would say, national behavior. Do you find any difficult when you're living in Vietnam? The summer here is so hot and humid, which I, for me it's a little bit uh, difficult. So I have to be a lot in the air condition during that time. But other than that, it's great. The food is great. Uh, the atmosphere is great, the country is so beautiful, you have a lot to do during the weekend. You said that you love food in Vietnam, so which is the best? Well, I like the coffee, the Vietnamese coffee very much. Uh, especially I like it when it's cold and with the, sometimes with the condensed milk. And the flavor of the coffee here is, uh, is different than, uh, than in my country. I'm a coffee lover, but I think I shouldn't drink too much because it's very, very strong. Do you have anything that you want to share with our students sitting here? Yes, uh, I think uh, when I'm looking at the students uh, sitting here in the room and all over Vietnam, I, I see a lot of similarities between the Israelis and the Vietnamese in the spirit. We share our uh, love of human being, uh, to human being, and I think we are all very creative and innovative people. So that's why I think, for example, as students, you are the future of this country, and I'm sure you are a bright future. This country is moving fast forward ahead. And uh, I think that uh, watching uh, the young generation in this country, very, very promising. Uh, I hope that we can see the future of both our countries together, uh, building it together in the future, and we get closer and closer, uh, maybe not geographically, but by our hearts and by our minds. Thank you for your sharing and thank you for your positively contributing to our bilateral relations. Thank you so much for inviting me. It was really a pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thank you.